Welcome to another episode of 10 Minute Wing Chun Workout Exercises. Today I'm going to show you some defensive, aggressive techniques. These are exercises that you can do at home without a training partner. You don't need much space and you can do it in 10 minutes. So are you ready? Let's go. And by the way, if you want to get more exercises and Wing Chun workout videos, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Let me know what you want to learn. Add some comments, like, just click the button right here and let's get on with the workout. So the first technique is called Tan Da. Tan Sao is this, we learned it in the ceiling towel, right? And then Da just means hit, any, any way you want to hit. So Tan Da means to combine the Tan Sao with some kind of hit, and most, most often it's a vertical punch. So the application is like this. This is good for using for hooks, right? Tan and Da, boom, okay? Boom, that's up. All right, so let's do this exercise first. Thanks, Will. So Tan Sao, the first one we're gonna do like this. Finger points to one o'clock. Finger points to 11 o'clock while you are punching. So nice and slow. One, two, the punch goes at 12 o'clock. Straight in front. Three, four, five. And your time cell should be both at shoulder level. So punch and your hand should be shoulder level like this. Make sure that your elbow is low on both hands. And then whenever you come back to the middle, you can, you can clap your hands for beginners, just so that you get used to putting your hands back into neutral position in the, in the middle. Because when your arms are out, you can't just move them to side to side, you don't get any power. So you gotta come back to the middle, come back to center. So the center is about here. If you open your thumbs like this, it should be this far from your chest. Okay, you don't do this in, a, in fighting, but this is a good way to practice, bring your hands back to center whenever you finish the attack. So the key is to get your angles right. You don't want to go like this. Don't do that. You don't want to do this instead. You want to do one is about, let's say at one o'clock, your right arm is around the clock. The other one, your right uh, finger is pointing at 11 o'clock. So right finger pointing at one o'clock, left finger pointing at 11 o'clock. And then your punch is always at 12 o'clock. Make sure there's no rotation in your body, so don't rotate anywhere. Keep your shoulders squared towards the front. Let's go as fast as possible while keeping the technique. Stay loose. Don't tense up too much. Just keep punching and blocking. So one thing that's going to help to coordinate is to just practice opening one hand and then making a fist alternately. Okay, so practice that and let's move on to the next exercise. Exercise number two is called Gan Da. Gan means to separate and Da means to hit. So the technique is like this. The Gan So goes to about your silhouette of your, of your body. So don't go all the way out here. Don't go here. You see the silhouette of the body. That's as far as it goes. Your wrist or your forearm should go to about there. Also, if you look from the side, you don't want it to be too close to your body. It's got to come out a little bit here. So this should be about a foot distance or so uh, between your arm here, the wrist, and your waist. So now you want to combine it with a straight punch like that. And make sure that this is all curved. So the application for this is good for low hooks. Boom, okay. Uh, next one, like this, okay? So if you want to train it a partner, you can do it like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like this. Be careful when training with the partner with this because when you're using this bladed surface of your forearm against his forearm here, the meaty part, it can hurt a lot. Especially if he hits hard, he's actually damaging himself because uh, you have a hard forearm bone here and his uh, meaty part is sensitive here. So just be careful when you train. So now let's do the Ganso exercise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep your arms relaxed. Keep your legs bent. 
and keep squared forwards. And you want to move both at the same time so that when it both reaches the limit, they both reach the destination at the same time. Like that. Exercise number three is the zat sao and da attack. Zat sao means to yank. So we're gonna show you how this works. Hey, do you wanna get stronger or faster? Do you wanna get even faster, faster? Do you wanna be like Bruce Lee, actualize your full potential? Make sure you check out my free webinar. Go to my event right now at chilifemastery.com and register, it's absolutely free. And I'm gonna show you the secrets of using ancient mind enhancement and human enhancement technology that is gonna transform your life. So go ahead right there, I'll see you in the webinar. So we're gonna show you how this works. In an application, you want to, so when his, his hand is a little bit below yours, okay, so when he attacks, you yank down and you punch at the same time, right? Yank down, punch at the same time, yank down, sink down, and you want to do it at the same time so that when you yank, it kind of pulls his energy into your punch, so it doubles up your power of your punch. So you're coming, you're using his energy, you're pulling his energy in, and, it, and you're punching him, so he loses balance. So you can check this way, he's losing balance, and you're punching him. That is the drill you do with your partner, if you have a partner, right? Thanks, Will. So the technique is like this. You are pressing down and punching. Pressing down and punching. Pressing down and punching. So once again, as one hand opens up, the other one becomes a fist. So you see, when I'm pulling in, I pull in about a hand's distance from my belly button. So pull it to my belly button. That's double speed. Two, three, four, five, six. Keep going. And 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Exercise number four is lap da, which means to grab and hit. So there's two ways of doing this. The first way is to lap to my hip. Lap means to grab, all right? So first is to grab, and I'm using the last three fingers here to grab, last three fingers, and then this finger can be loose, and then I'm pulling into my hip. That's where you get a lot of power. Pull to your hip, at the same time, I'm, I wanna hit him onto the, the jaw. When the other punch comes, I do the same thing. I pull to my hip, and I hit to the jaw, like that, okay? Pull to your hip and notice how it turns him a lot because you're pulling it to your hip, you're extending his body. Right? That's the first way. And the second way is to lap to the side and hit low. Okay? Hit low, hit low, hit low, like this. So you aim for the ribs and you pull him off balance, you overextend him, hit him in the ribs. Okay? Let's do the exercise together. So we're going to lap, so grab. When you grab, you can just grab like this, or I like to do is actually do like a sequential grab. I start with my pinky, I kind of turn my wrist, and then it's like you're twisting a towel or you're rent, really wringing something with your hand like this, okay? You don't have to do that, you can just grab, pull to your hip, and then hit. Grab, pull to your hip, and hit. Grab, hit, grab, hit, grab, hit. Five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. So the alternate version is to is to lap to the side and hit low. So I'm labbing to the side, hitting low. Grab and pull, nice and slow. Grab and punch. Grab, pull, punch at the same time. Grab, pull, punch. Now when you're grabbing, make sure that you don't go grab and pull it all the way this way. Pull it to about here, say about two o'clock and ten o'clock position. And then when you punch, make sure you don't punch too low because the guy's ribs are not that low. Guys, ribs are solar plexus, is here. So if you go from your solar plexus outwards, that's the level of the punch. And then when you're punching, don't extend completely. Just go up to 95% extension. Okay, let's go a little bit faster. All right, great job. Here's how you apply the technique. So when he's punching, I grab, and then I chop over, I grab, chop over, grab, chop over, grab, chop over. So same thing, I'm grabbing to my hip level, and chopping to the neck level, grab to my hip, pull him in to the chop, 
And then sometimes if there's hands there, then it's great because now I can grab another one and chop again. Once again, the grab is just like before. I'm grabbing to my hip, grabbing to my hip, grabbing to my hip, grabbing to my hip. And then the fak, F-A-K, is to chop like this. And make sure you chop to the center. Don't chop to the side. Chop, keep your hands together, keep your thumbs tucked in, and then uh, make a nice, nice straight, slightly curved surface with your palm like this. So if you combine the technique, it's gonna be grab and chop, grab and chop, grab, chop. Let's do a little faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hey, congratulations, you just finished your Wing Chun workout. So make sure you train hard, practice hard, and use the chi and prosper.